Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. Several viewers of mine claim that they lose certain TV channels at specific times, sometimes right before a major sporting event. The conspiracy is that TV stations lower the power of their broadcast signal before these big events to drive people back to cable and satellite services. After all, local TV stations made roughly $12 billion last year from subscribers of cable, satellite, and streaming services with retransmission fees. Why should they care about antenna viewers who get their signal for free? Do TV stations lower the power of their broadcast signal at times, and if so, why? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. So I'm going to answer the million dollar question right away. Yes, TV stations do lower the power of their broadcast signal at times, but not for the reasons you may think. According to one broadcast engineer in my area, the two main reasons that broadcast power is reduced is for tower maintenance and when there's ice on the tower. Ice can detune the broadcast antenna and create a major problem with the transmitter if it stays at full power. Neither of these situations happen often, so why do some people lose TV stations at random or specific times, sometimes right before a major sporting event? It's because they're barely getting the signal to the point that if there are any minor changes in weather, atmospheric conditions, or source of interference like a cheap LED light bulb, they lose the station. TV signals always fluctuate a little bit and tend to fluctuate more in bad weather. You can see this on the signal meter in any of my antenna reviews. Note that the number shifts a tiny bit depending on the antenna that's used. Indoor antennas and small outdoor antennas are more prone to higher signal fluctuation because they have limited gain and cover a small surface area. Again, no, TV stations do not lower power at random times to get antenna viewers back to cable and satellite. Do you know how insane this conspiracy sounds? Imagine I'm an engineer at a local TV station sitting in a control room. Oh, NASCAR is about to come on. Time to lower the power and piss off those boomers who keep calling me about their antenna issues. Whoa, sweet retransmission fees, here I come. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Another reason people lose TV stations at times due to general signal fluctuation is that they don't fine tune their antenna with a signal meter. A crystal clear picture does not necessarily mean a good signal. The current digital TV standard produces the same picture quality whether the signal is strong or weak. The only difference is a lower signal is more prone to dropouts like what you see here. All broadcast TV stations in a given market, even if they come from the same area, have different signals that might hit an antenna in different locations. You never want to just put an antenna in a random spot, point it, and hope for the best. Moving an antenna as little as a few feet or even a few inches can have a huge impact on reception as I demonstrated in a previous video of mine. Anyone with an indoor antenna should have the Mediasonic Homeworks DTV box. It has a signal meter that comes up if you press the info button twice, which is extremely helpful to find the best spot for the antenna. I attached a link to it in the description of the video. If you tried a signal meter, found the best spot for your antenna, and still have reception issues, you may need a better antenna. I see way too many people who order a very cheap indoor or basic small outdoor antenna in fair to weak signal areas. Do not trust the mileage claim on antennas. Most of them are grossly exaggerated. If you have reception issues and want to get rid of them once and for all, consider an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. I'll dig into exactly what antenna and amplifier you're using, why it might not be performing well, and recommend a setup that will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four different TV markets. So to summarize this video, TV stations only lower the power of their broadcast signal to do tower maintenance or when there is ice on the antenna. They do not intentionally lower it to get people back to cable and satellite. 
Yes, local TV stations did make about $12 billion last year in retransmission fees from paid TV services. But antenna viewers are not a part of that number. Most TV stations have taken steps to significantly improve their broadcast signal after the digital transition of 2009, which I covered in a previous video of mine attached in the description of the video. Thanks for watching this YouTube video, and if you're one of the few people who believe these networks are colluding together to get you back to cable and satellite, please stop, and also the Earth is not flat. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video, but make sure to add the email info at antennamanpa.com to your address book. Otherwise, my emails will probably end up in your spam folder. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.